Hey everybody and welcome to Leia's Lair. Here's our review of Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett, Episode 7, In the Name of Honor. So what we liked and didn't like about the episode. So we see Boba in the now burnt out cantina after it got blown up at the end of the last episode. Mm -hmm. And this is where they decide to make their stand. Mm -hmm. They're not backing down. Yeah, so they're there with the cyberpunk kids. Uh, they're there with Mando, mm -hmm. um, Fennec there, and also the mayor's aide, oh um, which <laughs> they guy. like to call um, what is it, Headtails? Yeah, some derogatory <laughs> Twi'lek name. Yeah, so yeah, they decide to make their stand there, um, which is fine. You know, it, that, you know, it sets it up for the plot to come. Um, you know, after this, we get to see Cad Bane kind of go talk to the to the Pikes. It kind of sets that hole up. He's that so hole. scary. Yeah. His teeth. Ooh. But before the plot progresses, we get to see a cool X-Wing fly in. Oh, yeah. None other than Grogu. Yeah. He's just the littlest <laughs> pilot you ever did see. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and as soon as it flew in, I was like, okay, no, not again. And then and I was like, is it going to be Luke? It wasn't. It was Grogu. Um, and you can see in that first shot that, he, you know, there's a glimmer underneath his uh, his cloak there. So you know that he's, he's chosen the armor. He's wearing his best guard. <laughs> so cute, his little shirt. Right. Uh, and obviously Pele is just super excited and thrilled to see him, as mm -hmm. we all are. Um, yeah, I honestly didn't think that this was even going to come out in this episode, to be honest. I didn't actually think that we were even going to see Grogu um, until maybe Mando season three. I thought it was like a little thing there. And then yeah. we're going to go right into Boba. But obviously uh, he played his part in this episode, right? Definitely. I was happy to see him, though. Yeah. To get some resolution to his last problem at the end of the previous episodes so it was nice to see yeah so yeah it's cool that he dropped into this episode um you got to see him choose that armor and then uh you know before the whole showdown ensues we get to see uh boba and cad bane you know have their meeting face to face mm -hmm. um you know which then sets up for that battle and it's just so cool to see them you know in live action definitely uh, meeting because you know the two you, have so much history together yeah for anyone who's watched uh, any clone wars you know mm -hmm. that it's, he's uh one of boba's mentors right yeah so um yeah definitely definitely a lot more uh to be said about that uh than just uh you know what we see in that live action um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely cool to see that. Um, yeah. And then, uh, of course, you know, everyone, Boba has all his people mm -hmm. in different locations, you know, scouting out to see, you know, when, it, when are the Pikes Syndicate going to be here? Yeah. They seem like they're really, really organized at this time. Like they're going to be the winners of this <laughs> battle for sure. Yeah. No, that's, that's not going to happen. But lo and behold, <laughs> of course, they get betrayed yeah. unsurprisingly. Yeah. And like, yeah, of course they get, un or they get betrayed and, uh, and, you know, everyone's got their own things going on. Um, but I just want to pause and just say, you know, out of all of them, and because, and you know, this is a spoiler uh, review, so you know that all of them survive, except the Gamorreans. Yeah, that was so sad and unnecessary, but, well, they lived a long, good life under many uh, <laughs> many a daimyo, so... Like, you know, I was like, okay, they're going to take down these guys, you know, these big Gamorreans have been around since, you know... You know, episode six, Star mm -hmm. Wars episode six, not episode six Boba Fett, but episode six of Star Wars. So it's these Gamorians, you know, these Gamorian guards just get thrown off a cliff, essentially. And uh, yeah, that was, I don't know. Am I the only one who's like super sad about this? Or? No, it's like pretty sad. <laughs> I feel like it was a bit unnecessary. <laughs> like, no. But also, you know, you see them fall off the cliff, but you don't have confirmation that they died. So maybe they're going to make a reappearance. Yeah, I, I would say that's the one off screen death that, you know, it's not going to come back. You know, we already know who's in the in the back to tank yeah. using it up. It's not the Gamorrean. <laughs> um, but yeah, so moving through that that battle, you know, um, it's definitely cool seeing Boba and Mando in that scene. They're using their jet packs, you know, they're shooting. Definitely. Everything seems like it's going Making all right. Making use of that armor, finally. I also thought it was nice before that even happened, though, like the camaraderie between the two of them mm -hmm. and how they just are like, well, yeah, I guess we'll just die here we have to but <laughs> right? 
this is the way, right? Yeah, definitely, um, definitely some Western vibes, and I and I feel like it's been this whole this whole mm-hmm. show, right? You know, it's set in this desert planet. Tatooine has a desert vibe to it. You even got Cad Bane in there, mm-hmm. super super Western. I uh, also got like end of Mando season one vibes. Mm, yeah. Okay. You mean like when uh, when it's uh, Mando and and IG? Yeah. Yeah, and they're like, okay, yeah, I could see that as well. But also just like when it's um, like Cara Dune and oh, uh, yeah, Grief yeah, yeah. Karga and they're like all holed up in like that building or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. It's like the end of season. Yeah, I wonder if there'll be Book of Boba Fett two, season two and it will be uh, the same as, as Mando season two. Maybe. You know? And with Luke coming in. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but yeah, so definitely cool uh, to see that whole scene. And then, of course, we get these big battle droids come in. <laughs> Um, where the hell did these guys come from? And, uh, of course, you know, as, as much as they're trying to take them down, it's, it's, it's not working. Even, even, uh, <laughs> Man Dark, Dark Saber can't yeah. even pierce these things. So, you know, um, this is definitely why, um, you know, Obi-Wan and, and Qui-Gon ran away from those droids <laughs> Yeah. And those were small ones. Definitely. So. <laughs> okay, but like, let's talk about the best scene of this entire episode. And like, that was definitely when... Mano and Grogu got reunited. <laughs> right. He was so cute. He was just hiding under the blanket. And he's like, hey, what are you doing here? And they shared a cute little hug. Oh, my God. Can my heart melt anymore? <laughs> yeah, definitely cute scene. Um, yeah, I, it's again, I wasn't expecting that scene to, to happen that way. You know, it, just in the midst of this battle, all of a sudden, oh, hey, you know. Um, so yeah, I definitely didn't th- think that that was going to be the way that went down. Mm-hmm. Um, especially after the last episode, you know, we're all like, ah, like he's so close. Um, so it's kind of funny the way that that happened just, uh, you know, kind of abruptly in the middle of this battle. He's like, what the, mm-hmm. I haven't seen you in, you know, since season two. Um, but yeah, so that it's cool that they got reunited in this episode. Definitely. Mm-hmm. They're definitely using the end of this to set up for, for Mando season three. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and yeah, that the whole battle scene is just, it's so cool, you know, you, you see the Rancor coming in. And- okay, that was sweet, though. You know, Bob was just like, okay, like, yeah, I'll be back. And I was kind of thinking in the back of my head, I was like, where the heck is this Rancor? You haven't seen this <laughs> since, like, episode two. Like, there's got to be more to, like, that yeah. part of the story, you know? And then he just, like, comes out and just, like, starts wreaking havoc. Right. Uh, and it's cool, yeah, you, you know, that whole scene was sweet, just the, the Rancor and everything. Um, and then it leads to that showdown between um, Cad Bane and Boba. Long time coming. Yeah. And it's, uh, yeah, I didn't expect, again, I didn't expect Cad Bane to just, you know, die in this episode either. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> yeah, no, and, you know, and it's just like, whoa, I can't believe that that happened. Like, you know, we but just I, got him in live action. I know. I, I was like thinking about it more though. And it's like realistically, like what was going to happen in that showdown? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's either Boba dies or yeah. Cad Bane dies and they're not going to kill Boba. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, but, you know, and, and, and at the same time, you know, just because Cad Bane's dead um, now in the timeline doesn't necessarily we won't see him again in live action because as you guys know, you know, Obi-Wan show is going to be coming out. Mm-hmm. I think they're, they're tweeting it's coming out in May. Um, no actual official date as of yet, but probably May the 4th. That's my hunch, too. You know, that seems to be when every, everything big gets dropped. And, you know, as we know in the in the Clone Wars series, Cad Bane is is a huge nemesis of Obi-Wan. You know, mm-hmm. how many scenes do they have together in that oh, yeah. series? So, um, you know, I, I definitely don't think it's going to be the end of Cad Bane. No. So I definitely think that, you know, this is maybe not his first time to Tatooine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's going to be cool if that happens, um, mm-hmm. which, you know, I'm just going to put my uh, put my two cents in there and say that's probably going to happen. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> not wrong. Yeah. I also thought it was pretty cool that we see Grogu using some of his uh, training that he's learned with Luke Skywalker <laughs> to use uh, animal control or whatever the force power is called yeah. to put the rancor to sleep yeah. and then he just puts himself to sleep too with him. Right. He he still uh, he still gets tired and tuckered out from using the force. Uh, yeah. He still has his cute qualities and, and that's good, right? We don't want to see Grogu mm-hmm. just, you know, all of a sudden just talking and no, using no. the force all good. You know, we, we, we're used to this Grogu. The only thing he says is patu. <laughs> right. <I'm> happy. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely cute hearing his little, uh, his little talk. So yeah, and yeah, it's really cool to see him use that force power in this just this time he just didn't lift the the beast up like he does in you know previous yeah. ones he puts him to sleep so new trick by him so that's uh-huh. cool 
Um, and yeah, and how cool is it at the end to see them in, both in that ship? Yeah. Oh know? my God, the spot was made for him. It was so yeah. nice to see him use it. <laughs> And you know he's just like a little little kid in the back seat. Totally. He wants his, he wants his his dad to to floor it. Yeah. And, uh, and he's, he's so now, cute. Now okay, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. So that is cool. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely excited that like like the whole things just set up for for Mando season mm-hmm. three. Um. Same with Boba and them. He's kind of like. And this is kind of what I find out is he's like, he spent all this time with the you know saving the oh Sespa and oh, this is my place yeah. and then at the very end they're giving that indication that they're like. Ah, maybe it's not for us. Yeah, like after <laughs> all like, of what? that, like you spent this whole time. Yeah, but so I and I think that kind of plays into the whole plot of you know maybe Mando and Fennec are, are going to join Matt or Boba and Fennec. Sorry, Boba and Fennec are going to join uh, Mando on on whatever quest that they're deciding to start in Mando season mm-hmm. three um, and become more involved in that. Maybe they're just is going to be their home base, but they're going to have, you know, that cyberpunk game run it or something. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but that's, that's, yeah, that's, that might be what happens with that. And that's a, kind of a way to, to wrap that whole thing up. Mm-hmm. And then at the end, we get to see that post credit scene of, uh, Cobb in the, in the back to tank, right? Yeah. He's about to become a cyborg. Yeah. So yeah. And then it's interesting. I'm wondering what's, you know, what, what sort of thing, like he, he got shot on the shoulder. Are you going to get a new shoulder? <laughs> yeah. I no i thought he kind of got i guess it was like the shoulder like upper shoulder maybe yeah and it's interesting too because it's like okay you got shot on the shoulder goes in the back of tank he should be okay yeah who knows but i guess he's getting upgraded (laughs) so it'll be interesting to see what he gets Mm -hmm. um yeah um yeah i'm excited to see what happens with um you know the obi-wan series coming out um in may that's gonna happen faster than we know it and then uh, Mando season three. Hopefully by the end of this year, we get that would be we nice. Get a, we get yeah. a date closer to that. Um, so yeah, a lot of things to look forward to. Mm-hmm. Okay, so in terms of a rating, I'm gonna give this episode a seven point five out of ten. I loved seeing Mando and Grogu get back together. It was a long time coming, and it was super sweet. And it was really nice just to see the overarching plot of the series come to a close with Boba finally getting his piece in Mos Espa. I also really liked the Rancor scene. Like I said, I was kind of wondering how that was going to come full circle, and it did in this episode. And yeah, overall, I'm looking forward to just seeing what these characters do in the future and what Mando and Grogu, what kind of adventures they're going to be on now that they're reunited again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Nice. Yeah, I also feel uh, I want to give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, Definitely thought it was so cool seeing Cad Bane uh in this episode and that in their interaction between him and boba especially with all that history Mm -hmm. built up um so yeah that that was so cool and then um yeah the rancor the whole rancor scene was insane um at one point he was like godzilla like come on yeah totally (laughs) and then yeah and then exactly what you said it best like you know mando grogu reunite what's gonna happen with their adventures and it's it's definitely cool to see that uh the whole plot of the series kind of you know get wrapped up here so yeah 7.5 out of 10 nice and there you have it thanks for watching everyone what did you think of this episode of the book of boba fett let us know down below in the comment section and remember to like share and subscribe to the channel for more great videos to come we hope to see you all again in leia's lair you are not a jedi yet Thank <laughs> you.